if i is the square root of negative 1, then what does this expression evaluate to? So to solve a problem like this, I'm first going to rewrite this. Instead of having it squared, I'm going to put the same binomial right next to each other, since they mean the same thing. So a minus bi times a minus bi. And this way we can foil out each of these. So remember, we start with the first, so a squared, a times a, and then the outer, a times bi, so plus a, b, i, plus, and then b, i times a, so the same thing, a, b, i, plus, now we have b, i times b, i, so I'll write that b, i squared, and then we have minus, and I'll put all of this in parentheses, since we have a minus on the outside, so again, we'll have a times a, so a squared, and then a times minus bi, so that'd be minus a bi, and then minus bi times a, so that's the same thing, minus a bi, and then at the end we have minus bi times minus bi, which is a positive number, so I'll write plus bi squared. And now we just have to simplify this a little further, so I'll rewrite a squared, and then these are the same thing, so we have 2ab times i, and then plus bi squared, so we'll have b squared times i squared, and then we have minus, and I'll distribute here, we have minus a squared plus, looks like we have two of these, so 2abi, and here we have minus b squared i squared, and what's important about i, remember i is the square root of negative 1, is that i squared, so if we square this, we just get back negative 1. So we can rewrite this again, now combining all the terms. So we have a squared minus a squared. So these cancel out, and we have 2abi plus 2abi. So there we have 4ab times i. And here we have plus b squared i. That was supposed to be a squared, and i squared is negative 1, so this is minus b squared. And then over here, we have i squared again, so negative 1, but this is a negative, so that would be plus b squared. So these b's cancel each other out, and we're left with 4 times a times b times by i. And this here will be our final answer.